Is it better to practice for five minutes or two hours when you're learning to play the harp? Now the answer is not quite as simple as you think and there's a lot of factors that contribute towards that so we're going to talk about that today and at the end of the video I'm going to tell you my final answer. When I first started learning to play the harp, I got so excited. I basically became obsessed with practicing the harp. Like I'm talking on average two hours a day. And in some ways I made really great progress. And in other ways, I kind of hindered my long-term progress by building some bad habits. So there's some things we really need to consider when we choose how long to practice. One thing that affects how long you can practice for is your stamina to be able to keep up with good harp technique. So for some of us, when we first start playing, we can only keep up good harp technique for a very short period of time, for most of us, in fact. And once we start getting tired and we're no longer keeping our elbows up, we're kind of just hanging out with our harps and building some bad habits. <laughs> so I usually suggest that if you're gonna practice for longer in a day, that you break it up into shorter sections and only practicing for as long as you can keep up your good technique. So how long you can practice for is also dependent on do you have a lot of time slots in the day when you can practice. When I started learning to play the harp I was only working until 12 midday and then I could practice on and off throughout the rest of the day which was really wonderful and that's part of how I was able to practice for so long. Another thing is how are your energy levels in general? When we practice for long periods of time and really exhaust ourselves by getting carried away and kind of ignoring the cues that our body's giving us of maybe you need to take a break, <laughs> what can end up happening is we get so tired from an epically long practice session and for some of us we exhaust ourselves so badly that we have to wait another week before we have energy to practice again and I don't think that's the most effective way to practice. So you really need to look at the cues your body's giving you of maybe now's the time to give myself a break. I found myself practicing for different lengths of time depending on what my goals are in that stage of my harp journey. So when you're very early on in your harp journey, you're really working on your harp technique and you're learning some basic songs. Later on, you might be broadening your repertoire, learning a lot of new pieces, and you might wanna have a lot of sessions throughout the day, or maybe you're really working to upskill yourself to be able to play a much harder level of pieces soon, and then you push yourself a lot harder with difficulty and it can be physically exhausting and then you need to really watch how long you play for that you don't um, injure your body. There's also been times in my harp journey where I don't have a specific goal right now. I'm kind of on autopilot. I'm just playing the harp for enjoyment whenever I want to and it's okay that I'm not progressing because that's not really my goal at the moment. I wanted to add that sometimes I've seen people putting in the comments of a YouTube video how very many hours they spend practicing per day. And I know some of us look at that and think, oh my goodness, I only practice for 15 minutes and this other person is practicing way longer. They must be such an amazing harp player. But sometimes people are spending those two hours just noodling around and not making a lot of progress. And I can spend 15 minutes being really effective with my practice. So don't let someone else make you feel intimidated or like you're not good enough for the the amount of time you spend practicing because it just needs to fit in with your life, your goals, and you can make real progress with a short amount of time. Practicing effectively with the time you do have is a skill that you actually need to learn. It's not something that just comes naturally. We don't just practice and make progress. We have to practice really well. And so that's why in my video courses, I don't just teach you a song. I'm actually secretly teaching you how to practice effectively. It's really a practice guide that shows you how to break a piece down into small parts and also how to practice your technique while you're learning the piece. And you'll come away from it not only having learned the piece really well but also having learned how to practice really well and you can apply that to other pieces too. So to answer the first question is it better to practice for five minutes or two hours? The answer is I guess it's a kind of an annoying answer when I say it depends but there is a clear answer if you are starting out with your harp playing and you are just learning starting with your technique I really think that five minutes or maybe 10 minutes is a good amount of time to practice at a time. And if you only have one slot in your day when you can practice, 
five minutes is literally better than two hours. But if you can spread your practice out throughout the day and you, you can practice for maximum, I'd say 20 minutes at a time, especially in the beginning, or if you're further along in your harp journey and you can see that your stamina has increased and you're able to maintain your good technique while you practice with good practice habits, then two hours can be better for you. Now, if you would like me to guide you through practicing a song really effectively with a practice guide, whether you're practicing for five minutes or more, then you can click here and you can choose any song of your choice from our courses and it's yours to keep.